Okay, so the Anchir bicycle electric motor in the back, uh, this also is called as Asian or Climactic. Uh, the electric motor has a problem, so I'm going to take it apart today, I'm going to show you how to get into it, and what is the problem with mine, because um, if you have, uh, I have a little bit over a thousand miles on this one, uh, this will happen to you, and nothing is not specific to this bicycle, it's uh, more specific to this hub motor. Because it's, a, because it's a heavy bike, the easiest way to flip it is hold the rear brake, and just go over the head. Wait. Tools required, you're gonna need a number three Allen wrench, number 10 wrench, and a number 18 wrench. Take the rear wheel off, just take this nuts. Because your wiring is already on the bike, you have to move the wiring out of the way. The wheel comes off really, really easy, just lift it out of the socket. The chain goes off of it, and obviously because it's attached to the, to the wire, you can't take it off completely, so you'll have to work on the bike. So what I like to do, take this washer off, remove this little knot over here at the end. So number 10, number 18, you'll be able to remove this knot. And then with an Allen wrench, you have to take this six or seven bolts that you have on the side. Once you took, took all those bolts out, there's another knot over here that you have to remove. And this one comes off by hand. It's just screwed in all the way to the end. It's kind of like a spacer. This comes off. Has to travel through this wire. There it is. And then now, the entire... gears for the, for the chain come off. And you could get to the motor itself. So this is the, the motor right now with all the, the magnets. What happened in my case with these uh, magnets is they are loose. So if you can see, they were supposed to be glued on and you could actually move them. Look how they moved inside, you see? They're all moving. So they are loose and then why is this happening? So when they put all these magnets in here, uh, they were forced in. But friction going with the bicycle over like obstacles and stuff like that create a little bit of wear and tear in between them so now they're not pushing against each other anymore so they are not fixed into a position over here where you will be able to uh, get them uh, um, they, they don't stay in a fixed position so because of that they're starting to move so what I've been reading online is that these need to be glued on uh, and the glue that they have used maybe have has worn out or something but they all have to go push them all the way in they have to go back onto their track but they should not be free also while you are at it um, there's like a couple of rollers on the other side that you should service also you should grease them out because they those are the rollers that pull the push the wheel around so these rollers should be serviced and you should add grease into them um, so this entire system is all in nice uh, greased if this uh, fix with super glue is not gonna make it work then I'll have to take it all apart and see what can I do as far as fixing it even better but I hope that super glue will keep it all together uh, in place so hopefully I'm gonna add this uh, super glue in here and it's gonna just hold them enough because this is a liquid so it should create a barrier in there it's very important not to glue them to put too much to put uh, uh, to glue them on the motor itself the motor still has to spin remember the motor has to spin you see how it's still spinning so you should not glue the magnets to the inside where the uh, electromagnetic field is formed so you have to to make sure that you glue them on the outside very very important uh, until it's gonna dry out I'm just gonna spin it a little bit just to make sure it doesn't catch on when you're ready you can put it back together I already greased the the, the wheels on the other side put it back together the same way as you took it apart and uh, let's see how long it's gonna last this time so I'm going to let that glue dry out for a little bit but it's already turning on with no problem whatsoever I just have to let the glue dry out and give it an hour or so and then I'll be able to test it out and see how good it really really works